Okay, so let's take one more example of a piecewise defined function. So let's use, uh, let's take a look at this one. So here, this is supposed to be the cost of mailing a letter. So what does it say? It depends, this cost depends on the weight. The cost of mailing a letter depends on the weight. So this is W, I don't know, is this grams or whatever? So if W is between zero and let's say one gram, it's probably, I don't know if it's grams or ounces, I don't know. But anyway, if W is between zero and one, including one because we have less than or equal to here, then we use this formula, 39 cents. If W is between one and two, then we use this formula or this value, 63 cents. If W is between two and three, then we use this formula. And if it's between three and four, we use this and so on. So what is this going to look like when W is between zero and one? We use one formula. And by the way, if it's equal to one, we still use this formula. So this formula is just a number in this case, but it's still a formula. It's like a constant. So anyway, what is it? It's 39, uh, 39. So let's put that here. Suppose this is 39. So it means that when anything between here and here, it's equal to 39. So let's put that here. Now the only question is, should I draw an open circle or a closed circle? And the answer is I should draw a closed circle because it's, if it's equal to one, it's still 39. Okay, now if W is between the weight is between one and two, uh, one and two, then we use a different formula. So we use 63. So somewhere here is 63. And then what do we do? So if it's between one and two, but this should be what? An open circle or a closed circle should be open because if it's equal to one, it's equal, it's here, not here. And then we get this and this. And then we get another one three, it looks like something else. And so it, it looks like this. In other words, it looks like this. So this function is the cost of mailing a letter depending on the weight. And this expresses that the W axis is here and the cost axis is here. And so they call this, unsurprisingly, they call it a step function because it looks like steps. Okay. And one thing is that you need to make sure of is where do we draw the closed and where do we draw the open circle? And we said, since this was less than or equal to here, that means when it, when it's equal to one, we still use the same number. So we draw closed here and open there. Now, one other question is we should sort of just review, you know, and that is, is this actually a function? Can we use that word for it? And we can think about this with the vertical line test. So what about the vertical line test? That means if I draw a vertical line here anywhere, do I cut it only in one place? And that's where this thing is, this is critical. If we had done something like this and that, what would that mean? That would mean uh, that when I draw a vertical line, I would get this height and this height. That would not be a function. However, we didn't do that. So wherever I draw a vertical line, I'm never going to cut it in more than one place. So it is a function. And you can see why we define this thing, why we want to make this rule. That is, you can only have, when you draw a vertical line, you can only have one, you can only have it cut in one place. Because if you had this, then what would we say? When the letter is one, whatever this is, one gram or one ounce, whatever it is, then which do we use? Do we use 39 or 63? Here it says we use both, which obviously doesn't make any sense. We can't use both. So that's probably why we define uh, a function to only have one value, because we don't want to have two answers to the question, what is, uh, when we put in one, what do we get out? We, in general, we don't want to have that, not just in this case, in general, uh, we don't want it. So it's like, suppose that, um, 
we have that the price for some for anything is a function of something else. Okay, so we don't want to have when we put in this x that we get two different things like we get p1 and p2. We don't want that. That would be confusing, and we don't usually are not interested in doing things like that. So that's why they define a function not to do that. We do define a relation. This is a relation. You know, even if I did this and continued in here and here, right, that's filled in, and this is filled in. That's still called a relation, but we generally want to focus on when that doesn't happen. We call that a function, so we'll focus on functions. Anyway, this is called a step function, and uh, it, it's uh, useful in a, in a number of places, a number of applications.